Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Michael Bracchio here at Velocity Sports Rehab, and in this episode we're going to go over patellofemoral pain syndrome. Patellofemoral pain syndrome presents as pain that's either around or behind the kneecap and gradually gets worse with time. Activities that tend to increase patellofemoral pain are either squatting, going up and down stairs, running, or jumping. There are a couple different risk factors that can predispose you to patellofemoral pain syndrome. One of those risk factors is the alignment between your patella and your femur. So normally the patella sits in a groove on the leg and glides in that groove. What can happen is that there's an alteration in that alignment, such as your leg being rotated, you can cause an overloading on one of the sides and will cause irritation and pain. Another risk factor for the development of patellofemoral pain syndrome is weakness in the gluteals and in the quadricep muscles. We used to focus on a specific muscle, which was called the VMO, which is a small muscle on the inside of the knee that would help with alignment of the patella in that groove that we were just talking about. However, it doesn't seem that targeted exercises towards the VMO provide any superior outcomes to generalized quadricep strengthening exercises. Therefore, we can just implement a good quadricep strengthening program instead. Patellofemoral arthritis is a very common condition that presents very similarly to patellofemoral pain syndrome, being that we have diffuse pain in and around the kneecap. Luckily, the treatment strategies for both of these conditions are very similar so that we can approach them the same. It should also be noted that pain and structure are not very closely related. Therefore, even if imaging shows that we have degeneration in the patellofemoral joint, doesn't mean that there's nothing we can do for it. The preferred treatment choice for patellofemoral pain syndrome is exercise targeted towards the glutes and also the quadricep muscles. An exercise progression for the quadriceps could include wall sits and then progressing on to knee extensions using a band and then finally ending with lunges. An exercise progression targeting the glutes could include bridges and then progressing on to bridges with knee extensions and then finally going on to monster walks with a mini loop. Other therapies that can help with patellofemoral pain syndrome include patellofemoral taping, joint mobilizations, and foot orthotics. To tape the patellofemoral joint, you'll need three strips of kinesiology tape. The first strip, you're going to tear along the middle, and you're going to lay down the tape on the inside of the patella and wrap around the knee with no tension on the tape. The second strip you're going to take, and again you're going to rip it in the middle, this time you're gonna go on the outside of the patella and wrap around the knee with no tension on the tape. The third strip, you're gonna rip in the middle, and this time you're gonna place it on the bottom side of the patella, right on top of the patellar tendon, and this time you're gonna put a little bit of tension so that you lift up the knee, and then you're gonna lay down the tape with no tension. And so when you're done, this is what the tape job will look like. In summary, patellofemoral pain is characterized as diffuse pain in and around the kneecap, which is generally worse with either squatting, going up and down stairs, jumping, or running. The treatment of choice is exercise targeted towards the quadriceps and the gluteal muscles, and then also other therapies that can help include patellofemoral taping, joint mobilizations, and foot orthotics. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Doc Talk. I hope that you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.